Hey, g'day everybody. Welcome back to Out of Awe. Look at this. Hey, she's happening. Definitely happening. I'm going to continue running this across here and I'm probably, I might actually start, uh, I think we're about five, one, two, three, four, five, six uh, gap wise there. I think what we might start doing is actually doing a little bit more, probably maybe even double it up 12 for this area and just see how we go. And then we're going to have to shore up, but that shoring up is going to take quite a bit of time. Uh, it'd be nice to get rid of that. There we go. Nothing like being a fit, energetic miner. So this is all going really, really well. We're going to need to, uh, I'm going to need to throw some more stuff in here as well. Try and get myself uh, a little bit more, um, uh, stability on the ground. There we go. Throw that in there too. And we're going to have to go through here as well. So we're going to have to produce a whole lot more concrete. There. Lovely. Lovely. So we'll be able to get some uh, get some more concrete in there. It'll be good. And uh, we're going to go through here as well. It's all kind of starting to uh, really, really, really come together down here. But we've nearly run out of fuel. So... Uh, we need to, um, so I basically need to refuel this, but uh, to do that, I'm just going <laughs> to, quite simply, do we need that in there? I don't think we need these in here, do we? There we go, we'll get rid of those, because that's sort of a waste of having stuff there. I do need to tidy all of this stuff up, but, you know, you just get, uh, you get so addicted when you start, uh, when you start playing this, that, um, you, you know, you, you just get so... Um, so involved in digging and stuff like that, that, uh, that you tend not to, not to do too much cleaning up and stuff. Let's, uh, take this little fella down here. Might reverse him down. Thankfully now we can, uh, we can do this. This is a great way to, uh, to be refilling stuff. So, there we go. Could fit under here nice and easy. And I'll just reverse it all the way down. We can fill up, and then uh, and then we're we're ready to go. Down we go. I'm using my keyboard. That's that's why it's so erratic. Okay, let's jump out of here. Jump into there, and we will refuel. Perfect. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. Lights have come on. And up we go. Fantastic. That's great. I mean, we could, as I said, you know, we don't necessarily need this truck, but um, but uh, I, I really wanted to, I really, really, really wanted to use it. So, uh, all right, there we go, which is uh, probably how they do it anyway in real life. You can see little bits and pieces coming out there. Go and have a look at uh, what status we are at, because I have dug a, a fair bit out of that. I just want to uh, see what we've got here. There we go. We've got some gold ore. Uh, we'll throw you over. We've got some silicon, some diamonds, some ruby. And we can sell that 9,000 dirt off as well. Beautiful. Let's go into here and grab that water. Uh, this is our diamond. Where's our diamond stuff? Uh, it's up here, right there. Throw that in and then we'll keep this producing as well. There we go, lovely, and our ruby, we'll throw our ruby ore up there as well, production wise, yep, we can, we can uh, queue some more of that up, I uh, might take that, and I might take this diamond ore as well, so that we can fill that up, uh, we've got some more gold ore here, what are you producing, you're still producing gold ore, All right, I think that's fine. Uh, over here, we can throw our water in now. Who was it? Who was it, Simi? Because you, you really need to, uh, you really need to start, uh, uh, remembering names, which I'm pretty useless at doing. Uh, Mark Brown. It was Mark Brown. He's done a little bit of an assessment and he reckons the, the, 
the best thing to sell is this concrete roof material in regards to the amount of uh they're basically the same yep in regards to the amount of um uh sort of profit that you get from uh uh, for the materials that you put in and he reckons that's the best concrete stuff to sell which is uh, which is fantastic so we're gonna do that as well thank you mark for that mark does uh, does make a uh, quite a few comments and stuff and help out which is fantastic what are you doing at the moment uh, we nearly out of no we're not nearly out of iron ore so we're gonna keep iron going here for now there we go, lovely. Uh, what have you got? We'll take the copper. Don't think we have any other copper, do we? We've got gold down the bottom there. All right, lovely. Uh, what have you got? You've got nothing. What have you got? You've got some uh, silver. We'll take that. I may end up just selling all of this silicon, to be honest. Uh, throw you over there as well and uh, keep gold pumping out. Absolutely. Gold is where it's at. I think our I think our mine is a gold mine. We do need to do some more work on uh, on these buildings as well. Now let's uh, just go into the store, sell off that dirt for fourteen grand. Yes, thank you very much. Um, oh, I forgot to put the silicon in as well. Sell off the gold for another sixty-one silver there and the copper there as well. We need some more steel mesh because we're going to need to. Uh, do that rubies 32 grand's worth of rubies and 14 grand's worth of diamonds as well i think that's probably about it i reckon yeah that looks to be about it so cool okay that is lovely um did we have more uh, more barrels being produced here we did have more barrels being produced here let's maybe get some more of these happening perfect all right lovely i kind of feel like i need to probably just purchase stuff rather than make it but i know that it's i know that it's a lot cheaper i know that it's a lot cheaper to uh to make this stuff um rather than uh rather than purchasing it but I just um there we go that's going to make quite a bit there just uh, feel like other than concrete products and stuff that we use, I feel like that's a, a, a better way to go. Uh, you haven't been doing much, have you, Mr. Uh, Excavator? And neither of you, though. So. Alright. I want to see if the GPS is working in here as well. Go into there, and the GPS is working. Fan bloody tastic. Alright, let's start this up that on and i don't know whether we have any we do have lights okay uh that's going left and right like so uh that's not it's kind of turning it that way and that's going that way that's it that's kind of what we want there I don't want to. I don't want to do too much, but I want to try out how this is going to go. Should we lift it up a little bit more? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, make some adjustments on that as we go. Lift him up a little bit more. There we go. We'll see how we go with this. Seems to be kind of working all right, doesn't it? We need to sort of uh, get this area a little bit flat. There we go. Keep going there. And this bit here is going to be a bit of a problem. We, we made it. We made. Um, I made, not we. <laughs> I made quite a mess there. But it seems to be going all right. Seems to be going all right. There we go. Get that happening. Uh, we'll raise you up and we will keep you relatively straight. Uh, 
I don't think that did too bad, really, did it? Let's uh, head back this way. Here we go. And we'll try and go again through here. And at some point in time, at some point in time, <laughs> I will actually have this down pat. Okay, down there and drop you down. And we'll try and do that. No. Uh, oh, yeah, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Maybe drop him down just a little bit more. Like that. Try not to sort of overcut in. Seems to be working all right, and then we can bring our um, we can bring our roller through here. I kind of wanted this area to be a little flatter than what it is, rather than having that curve in there. So I'm kind of trying to get rid of that. We've got a lot of stuff over here that I might need to use the bulldozer to do, perhaps. I don't know. So just adjust that there and bring them up just a little bit. Try and push all of this out of the way as well. There we go. Like so. And we'll see if we can get rid of some of this too. This more seems like it'll be a bulldozer or a loader job to be honest. But let's see what we can do. Drop him down. See if we can't just drop some of that out. I know, I know. There we go. Alright. I was watching one of these. I was actually yesterday we went to a uh, we went to a fair, and uh, I was actually watching a uh, a grader just over the paddock doing a whole pile of grader work, and it just looks so much easier than what I'm doing. Um, so much more accurate. There we go. Alright, let's go through here. Drop you down. And we'll see if we can get through there. Throw you in there. Bring it up just a tad. Bring it up some more. Drop it down again. And bring it up. Yeah. Might be alright might be all right it's kind of uh, it hasn't done a uh, an absolutely fabulous job but it may actually help us if we could possibly if we could possibly cut right along that ridge line there and dig into there that might be a pretty good thing might not she's uh, she's slow moving back There we go. So I reckon maybe cut right along this ridge line here and see how we can go. What we want to do is probably dig down like that. Dig in like that. And cut right along this ridge line. That looks like it's going kind of alright, doesn't it? flexibility of these things if you see them operating in real life the flexibility is actually incredible you know with the suspension that they have on the front and stuff like that bring him up again all right lovely i reckon that probably went really really well for us didn't it Oh, don't do that, Simi. So we probably need to cut just into here a little bit more as well. Bring him down. Throw him through there. Look at that. There we go. I feel like that's working really well now, actually. Bring him up just a little. Bring him up. Continue cutting into this side here and as we go up this hill just cut into here and bring him up bring him up bring him up 
bring him all the way up like that there we go look at that oh no too much Simi you stuffed that up it was going really well until you started messing with it all right I think that's actually pretty good isn't it boys and their toys guys boys and their toys all right and girls Right, so if I bring, if I bring, um, if I perhaps bring the roller over here, start rolling all of this. Might actually, I think I might actually uh, straighten that out. Come back through here. And do another run, but going this way, I reckon. Like that. And if we dig that down there, try and keep that nice and straight. Just to bring it back just a little bit. Like so. Kind of looks like it's working alright. Now I do want to do the uh, I do want to do the old coal uh, the old coal trick that was suggested. But if you put coal down, it kind of almost looks like bitumen, which uh, I thought was absolutely fantastic. Run you through here. We'll turn around here like that. Up we go. All right, lovely. I think I'm. Uh, I, I think I'm. I'm kind of happy with that for my uh, for my first little attempt. Let's just jump out and have a look. It's uh, it's pretty messy, but it should roll all right, and it's kind of flattened it out quite a bit, hasn't it? So let's uh, let's see if we can go over there and roll a bit. All right there, we go. Uh, might just bring you back in here, I reckon, buddy. Oh, yeah, don't go over the edge. Don't go over the edge, Simi. Up to there. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. It's all, it's all going quite well, isn't it? Like, um, I feel like it's all going quite well anyway. Refuel that while we're there. And we'll roll this through. Hey, wait, 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 what are you doing there, Simmy? Right, using keyboard, that's what you're doing. And on. And we'll roll this through here. They do have a uh, road construction sim coming out at some point as well. Uh, not these guys, obviously. Um, but uh, a developer is currently building a road construction simulator, which is uh, which is actually looking pretty cool. Let's see how we go through there. Roll all of that out. Roll up to here. Look at that. Hey, you can't argue with that, can you? Got to put my uh, beacons on, which I should have on. And we'll roll back the other way. We'll see if we can't roll just slightly to stop that curve. Slightly away from the wall to try and prevent too much of a curve in there because that's what I kind of found if you go too much to the walls it, it brings it up rather than drops it down which is really really annoying but you can see that bringing that up there okay roll through here through here like so
Yep, there we go. And roll through there. Beautiful. All right, lovely. I think that's uh, I think that's pretty good actually. I think we'll uh, we'll stick with that. I'm pretty happy with that at this point in time. Down we go. I look forward to being able to try and make myself like a proper open uh, open pit, um, just with uh, building roads going down into the open pit and stuff. But at this point in time, we kind of we, we kind of don't need it. But what we do need though is we need another um, we need another vehicle up here. We need another loader up here. I really wanted to wait until we could uh, until we could get a bigger loader, but that was going to be uh, that was going to be quite a ways away. We've got to go get to level forty five for that, so we probably want to do the we probably want to do the uh, the L eleven again. Although it'd be nice to do something different, like but that's got ten cubic meters in it. Maybe. Maybe we'll do, that's 6.8, that's 6.5, the L11's got 10, that's got 7.3. I, I might go that. I might just buy that, you know. Yeah, I reckon I will. I reckon I'll buy that, and then we can uh, we can actually develop. Uh, we can actually produce some more uh, some more coal and stuff as well, uh, as well as tidy this area up too. This area desperately, desperately, desperately needs tidying. So there we go. Drop you in there, and it comes. And uh, yeah, this should be all right. There we go. Okay. No, it's not. Uh, it's not quite as uh, quite as beautiful and and large as the other one. But you know, let's just let's just go with it, shall we? Not quite as big a bucket, but I did. But I kind of just want to. I want to mix them up a little bit rather than have all of the same machinery. And at some point in time, we're going to get ourselves that really, really big one. So there we go. Back you in there. Lovely. Maximum fuel capacity. Of course it's maximum fuel capacity. Okay, let's drop this down here and maybe try and... I'm going to have to get the GPS. I think I'm going to have to get the GPS on this one. To prevent stuff like that from happening. <laughs> Just completely and utterly ruined that, didn't I? Oh well. Oh well. There we go. We'll go and get some. Uh, we'll get a little bit more. Um... Actually, I wonder. I wonder. I just want to try something out. I just want to try something out. What if? What if we were to just dump shit there? Like, what if we were to just uh, use utilize this little beast here, right? Bring him around. Close that off. What if we were to just uh, maybe grab this stuff like that? Scrape all of that off. Put our handbrake on, which doesn't kind of make too much of a difference. But what if we were to roll this around this way and just dump it all here like this? And just make ourselves a, make ourselves a, like a, a big dump point. Like that, and then pick it up with the uh, pick it up with the loader. Is that counterproductive, or does it matter if you're having fun? 
doesn't matter if it's counterproductive if you're having fun. There, throw you in there. Open that up. Close them up. And then we could just do like a just do big piles. We could slowly work our way in that way. Still get <laughs> still having trouble getting used to this thing. Using this thing. There we go. And then we could just do big piles like that, couldn't we? Okay. Clean the rest of that wall off there. Uh, that one. There we go. Get used to that. And then just come in and strafe that with a uh, with the uh, with the loader. Don't get very big loads on this, do I? Which means that I'm pretty useless with it, basically. Uh, there we go. Down there. Through there. That's a better load. Well, it was a better load until I lost it all, right? I wish there was a little bit more stabilization in the way these guys are in, in, in these guys hugging themselves to the ground. Get all of that. Just keep dumping it all on here. There we go. I don't think I can get up to that. Yeah. But I can go down here and hopefully scoop some of that up. Yeah, see, it kind of throws you around, doesn't it? And moves moves the entire thing around. Which is which is kind of annoying really. Okay, we'll dump you on there. And open that up. Let's move back a little bit again. There we go. Try that. Close you off. I need to get up. Uh, I need to get this stuff up high. Oh, come on. Come on. moving me around again okay there we go try and get this bit up here semi not too bad semi not too bad Go, open that up. Yeah, and then we can come through with the uh, we can come through with the loader there at some point in time and uh, clean that up. Hi. 
kind of working. Kind of working, but not uh, not super well. Okay, open you up. Not you. So what I want to do is start uh, start constructing the, uh, the, the the opening of this mine a little bit better. I mean, it's not too bad now. People think it looks pretty good, and I think it looks pretty good as well. But it'd be nice to um, it'd be nice to be able to actually uh, you know pretty it up a little bit more. Pretty it up a little bit more. Oop. Uh, close it off. There we go. Lovely. See if we can't uh, get a scoop up here. Doesn't want to scoop there though. Doesn't want to scoop there very well either. I know you need, you kind of need the teeth on it, don't you? That's the big thing is the teeth, getting the teeth on it. Okay, open you up, get you out. Trying to work myself into a spot here, but that's okay. Okay, so it's a it's it's a long term project, guys. It's a long term project, right? Okay, and uh, at the pace I'm doing this, it's a very very long term project, right? if we can scrape some of that off. Can't get that bit up the top there. Nice if we could. But we can't. So, not getting overloaded scoops, but getting relatively, relatively full scoops. There we go. Right, we'll uh, leave him like that for now, turn him off, and then the plan would be to uh, grab a GPS for this. Uh, GPS. So, equipment, thank you. GPS, let's grab another one of those, and let's go into the inventory, equipment. Uh, where are we going to put it? Probably. I don't know what's this one? Where are where are we? We've got some lights on there. Don't know what that is. Ah, it's on the back there. Perfect. Yep, that'll do. <laughs> That's going in there. No, that'll be fine. That'll be fine, and it uh, and it works straight away as well. Fantastic. Right, so what we should be able to do now. So I should be able to nice and neatly come through here like this. Just scoop that up. There we go. Oh, this GPS is a godsend as well. I think it's uh, absolutely fantastic. What a great addition. Okay, there we go. down keep that level there we go oh. messed that up didn't I there we go alright and then we can just scoop the piles up like that and I, I think that works alright I think that works pretty good I mean, you're still messing around. If, you, if you're loading it straight into a truck when you're by yourself, you're still messing around. 
don't you? But uh, doing it doing it this way, you kind of, you know, you're, you're still doing all the messing around, but it seems to be working pretty well. Down we go. Get that GPS. Get that lined up like that. Roll him in there. Creep up that stuff. Lovely. Do the same here. Go through and scoop some of that up. And just uh, just go over and dump it. It's not like we're a, lo a long way from the dumping point. There we go. Throw him in there as well. Beautiful. Nice, nice, nice. Down you go again. Okay, that's pretty level. We'll keep rolling in there. Probably could have dug in just a little bit more there, I reckon. Like that maybe. No, that didn't work either. But it's actually working pretty good at leveling it all out though, isn't it? To be honest. Roll you through there and into there, and we've got that scoop there as well. Not a very big scoop, but a scoop nonetheless. All right, beautiful. Nice little bit of cleaning up there. I think you could probably almost level uh, level roads and stuff out really, really well with a uh, loader with a GPS, couldn't you? And we'll try that at some point as well should be really fun now this this loader here is probably the one that we should take down into the mine i reckon because it because it is smaller and it will give us that a uh, little bit of um a little bit more sort of maneuverability or the ability to sort of maneuver down in there a lot more so it won't take quite as much. We'll be losing about three uh, cubic meters per load, but I don't know whether it matters too much. There we go. Lovely. All right, that's working. Uh, I'm I'm actually pretty happy with the way that's working, to be honest. Big you through there. We'll grab some of that as well. There we go, and we'll have a higher reach with the uh, with the one that's down in the mine. We'll have a higher reach as well, so we might swap those over before the end of the episode. There we go, and it's all right to have a, 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 a like it's all right to 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 have um, you know a little bit of excess equipment. If you know what I mean, like to, to be able to have yourself a couple of loaders and, you know, and stuff like that for, for different tasks and stuff. Because it saves you driving them around. Gotcha. Gotcha. That worked really, really well. I was super happy with that. All right, there we go. Lovely. Drop you in there. So we're sitting. We haven't breached. We haven't breached a million dollars yet uh, because I keep buying stuff. So, which is fine. Okay, we'll get you in there. We'll bring you through here. We'll grab that as well. There we go. Lovely. Alright, beautiful. We can also fill holes in and stuff if we need to as well, which is really, really cool. So down you go. And uh Yeah, I think that's uh I think that's uh I think that's working really really well. Put you, bring you down. Get you lined up. Got a whole pile of that. I don't know where I'm losing everything. 
I do seem to be losing everything out of this bucket somehow. I don't know how. Alright. There we go. So, I'm going to leave this episode here, but I think what we're going to have to start doing now is uh, we're going to have to start dressing our mind side up a little bit, I reckon. What do you guys think? Oh, crap. What do you guys think? Start dressing everything up. Um... We'll take, uh, we'll take him down there, which would be pretty cool. I might actually even get a screenshot of that, you know. Maybe like that. Um, we'll, we'll take, we'll take this smaller one down there, which will, uh, which will actually be pretty cool. And we'll bring the, uh, we'll bring the larger one up. And we'll run the smaller excavator down here because, I mean, we've got plenty of time. We've got plenty of time. Uh, the only thing is, that may not be that, the only thing with doing that is that may not be that high. Hmm. Well, we can try it. Let's try it anyway, shall we? There we go. Uh, bring you up and reverse him out of here. He's done well. He's done well. Down to here. Lovely. And we'll bring this beast down into the thing and we'll test it. We'll, we'll give it a, a little bit of a test out. I mean, she's still a, she's still a pretty big uh, excavator. Down we go. And we'll see, we'll, we'll see exactly how high we can get with this as well. But uh, for maneuverability and stuff, it might actually be a little bit better. How high can we get with this? High enough. High enough. Oh, yeah, I've, I've, we've got to put that bloody concrete in. Yeah, no, I think that's good. I think that's actually pretty good, isn't it? There we go. We'll dump you in there. It's so bad. She's going very, very well now. Very, very well. I'm super happy. Okay, we'll turn the beacon off. We'll turn him off. I just accidentally <laughs> dropped my controller. And now I have to uh, get out of here and walk all the way back. But... Uh, no, all looking good. All looking good. We probably need to do something about uh, flattening this area out as well. Don't know what to do here. If you've got any suggestions on what we do there, do we use that as the entrance? We could use that as the entrance to a... Um, we could use that to, as an entrance to an open pit if we wanted to, which would actually be all right, wouldn't it? That'd probably be really good. We could get the excavator up there, this uh, this beast over here, and start pulling that stuff off and dropping it down here as well, which is probably a, a, a perfect idea. So, there you go, guys. That is yet another episode of Out of All. Again, thank you for the comments. Uh, thank you for the suggestions. Thank you for the likes, and uh, and and thank you for the views. I really, really appreciate it. Um, it um, just it's it's great for for a little YouTuber like me. Um, it's actually really, really good to 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 be able to uh, bring something to the channel that um, that I absolutely and utterly adore playing, and uh, and that you guys get a lot out of as well. So, thank you so much, everybody. I'll see you all next time. Bye.